Well, I guess it the... depends on which one comes out first. Oh no, and um, Nick Fury too. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I knew it was gonna be the um villain coming out for um the um Star Wars. Oh yeah. Because that was that was obvious to me. And they say there's more. There's gonna be more Star Wars figures besides the lightsaber figures. Yeah, there'll be four. There's five lightsaber figures and four. There'll be four for the movie. Mhm. Mm for the episode seven. I don't think I'm gonna get the um the um the lightsaber ones. Um, I want to because I want to have the complete collection and they're gonna be cool because the, the lightsaber is gonna light up Are they gonna be the same price though? Probably That's good. They didn't charge more for the crystal ones Are the crystal ones any different? I think you told me right you think they yeah, they have they have more powers than the uh, than the base than the base ones I only have one crystal I have the Mickey So sure Mickey Oh. Insecticons are attacking again. Insecticons. They're coming from the pods. Oh, gross. I might be able to actually get more stuff this year, this month than normal too, because I have a um. I was supposed to have a credit on my bill from DirecTV for 120 bucks. Cool. What games are you gonna get? Well, I'm getting um, Fallout 4 and Assassin's Creed for sure. Other than that, I don't know. Um, if I have enough to get a third game, I'll probably pick up uh, The Witcher 3. I think I have that. I have to see. That's if I play through that. That's gonna be a long one. <laughs> yeah, it will. And I think Fallout 4 will be long too. Oh yeah, all the Fallout games. If you try and do a playthrough on on your stream of uh, a playthrough of any of the Fallout games, it'll take you a long time. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I like. One of the things I like about Fallout, and I wish they'd make a Fallout MMO because that game would make a great MMO. Yeah, but where were you located, though? They've already got all these huge areas. They could just tie all those areas in together. I'll be right back, Eric. Okay. You know all the ones that exist in the the, the uh, already existing games. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about Welcome that. Welcome back. So, how you doing? Alright. Did you have dinner? Uh, yeah.
steak, chicken, or <laughs> fish, or hot dog. Did you get the 99 cents from the cocktail? No, I don't like it. Do they have they have a lot of Halloween stuff there, huh? Now I read in Vegas. I would like to see that haunted attraction on the strip. I think it's open all year round or something. I think it's the strip. Oh, uh, there's one down. No, there's none that are year round, but there is, um. We do have, like, uh, the Adventure Dome. They turn into the Fright Dome. Oh, um, yeah. They do a big haunted house there, and, uh. You know, I didn't see any ads for it downtown. I don't think they're doing it this year, but, uh. Uh, Binion's usually turns like a couple of, like two or three floors of the hotel, which is currently clo been closed for a couple of years now. It wasn't a good money. Oh, the Binion um, Horseshoe? Yeah, Binion well, Horseshoe. it's just Binion's, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not the Horseshoe anymore. They, uh, Caesars bought... Caesars Entertainment bought them, right? Bought Harris. Yeah. Or, no, bought Binion's. Gotta go up! And, gotta um... They took the World Series of Poker, and they took the Binion's name and transferred them to one of their other companies, or to the to the parent company, and then resold Binion's. Oh, so it's okay. just Binion's now. They can't they can't call it Binion's Horseshoe anymore. But uh, yeah, a couple of years ago, like when the recession was really bad, they shut the hotel down. I don't know if they've reopened it, but I know that even before that, they were taking like two or three floors of the hotel and turning it into a giant haunted house. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I like the um the Golden Nugget. That was one of my favorite hotels. Downtown. Yep. I stayed there, I stayed at the Luxure, I stayed at the Well it's IT now. Treasure Island. TI, yeah. Oh TI, sorry. I wonder why they named it like why they just named it T.I. Because everybody, that's what everybody called it. I mean, it's still Treasure Island, but everybody called it T.I. in with, so... Hmm? Oh, excuse me. So how's your niece? She's good? Yeah, she was doing good last night. That's good. You go to the Golden Corral anymore? I saw that on your YouTube. Oh, we've only been there the once. I mean, they, they only opened it like a year ago. And it's like over on the other side of the city. Oh. Uh, Did you see Princess Kelly eating her? Yeah. Moose? <laughs> yeah. You mean wearing it? That's what you mean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did she you clean had so much fun though, uh, you know. Did you clean her up afterwards? Oh yeah. Before yeah. we ever left the restaurant. <laughs> That's good. We don't we don't go anywhere with the baby without a change of clothes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do they still got Joe's Crab Shack there? Or? Uh, I don't know. I don't I get ate. into seafood, so I don't really pay much attention to it. But I really like, um, that, um, steakhouse that was in, I think, I don't know if it was, it's in, um, Fremont Street, I know that. It's in one of the casinos. It's a prime rib place. I don't know, there are a bunch of places that have good prime rib, uh... The most famous one from downtown would probably be the El Cortez. No, I've never been there. It's pretty good. Yeah, it was when Jackie was still alive. I don't know if it is now. I haven't been there since Jackie died. 
I used to go there all the time when Jackie was alive because me and him used to play poker together. Oh, cool. And he was a great guy. I mean, like, my wife, one time walking through the El Cortez, saw him, went in, saw him, say hi, and um, she was out going to do some work for, for some friends to get some money. And he asked her what she was doing, and she told him, and he said, ah, oh, here, don't worry about it. And he took four, he took $40 worth of chips off his off the table and handed it to her. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Yeah, he was a really, really nice guy. I, you know, I almost went to work for him tw more than 20 years ago now. In uh, 92, I almost wow. went to work for him because I was gonna, uh, I would keep, I was gonna go work dealing for him. Uh, but my first wife, I was still with her, and she wanted to go back home. So we we left Vegas and went home. We'd only been here for a month. Good. And I wish I had stayed because if, if I'd have stayed working for him. Uh, Jackie always said that he guaranteed that anybody who worked for him for 20 years, he would make them a millionaire. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and he did it. <laughs> I mean, he was a really nice guy. Like, he sat there one night, me and him sat there just bullshitting about how he got into the casino business to begin with and shit. And it was pretty, it was some pretty interesting stuff. Like, the El Cortez itself, he bought. He actually bought that casino from Bugsy Siegel. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Do they still got the um? Oh, I think it's called the Coney Island. Is it Coney Island or something? Uh, not that I know. Of. I don't know if it's the Coney Island type of. Oh, the train state rail house train station or something like that. It's not on the street. Oh, this. Uh, you mean uh, Main Street Station? Yeah, Main Street Station. Yeah, it's just, that's the casino. Yeah. Is that place I any go good? I station casinos sometimes. No, I've never been to that one. <laughs> I've been to Boulder Station and uh, Palace Station's right around the corner from me, so I go there. I hate the Technicons. <laughs> Seems I made it. Well, they're probably Somehow. not real big fans of yours either. <laughs> oh, cool. Who's this? Scrap, scrap, no. It appears the plasma energy is increasing the insecticon strength. That thing's huge! <laughs> Now I wonder who the Disney characters are going to be. I see um, you Hefner's got a club now. Oh yeah, he's had it for a long time. Uh, there's a Playboy Club here on top of the... Uh, Is it? No, the Hustler Club, sorry. The Hustler Club. Larry Flint. Sorry. Um, yeah, I don't know about that one. I've never heard of that one. You see what they're doing I mean, with Playboy? I've heard Play that they have it, but not here. You see what they're doing with Playboy now? They're taking all the women out of it now. Well, what's the point of having it then? Because they said that's what people wanted. Right. They probably weren't making any money. Because that's all.